Welcome to Sam Livecast, everyone. Check this out. Recognize that? What is that? Bacon baby. Bacon. Thank you. Bacon baby. That's right. And why are we cooking bacon? Because. Because we can. It's good. Because we can, because it's good. And because, check this out. See this? That, ladies and gentlemen, a is beast. a chocolate freaking clam. Chocolate in color, not in taste. So either your hand's really small. Right. Or it's a huge really clam. Big. It's a huge clam. So um, my dear friend Tommy from Catalina Offshore texts me and he goes, chocolate clams, do you want some? I go, yes, I'm completely down. I've never had them before. So I go down there today and he's showing me these things. I go, wow. He goes, let's do something with them. I go, okay. So I take them. I, I get them out of the shell. Look at this. This is called the tongue. This red part. Yum. Oh. Uh. I know. It's crazy, but all edible, right? Yeah. So, oh, did you hear that? Kelly's over it's there. It's not good. Kelly's over there getting it's all grossed out. Let's get a tight shot. Jeez. Oh, so there they are. Here, let's get a tight shot of this one. Let Where's me open one up. So I can get. You know, sometimes these guys just don't want to. They're stubborn. Like, would I want to come out of my house if some guy was prying? If I saw like some knife coming in the roof of my house yeah. and some guy was trying to get my ass out, would I want to? You'd be working hard to I'd be working it. hard and that's what they're doing. So you just try to open up all the way around. But does, is that like a, it's dead, it, right? No, it's, it's alive. Still, it's alive. It's, it's still alive. alive. So it's li literally working against you right now. Well, he's kind of pulling. So then see, watch, right. You started, you're getting this. Don't, I mean, don't the like animal one. people have problems with this? The animal people have problems with everything. But here, watch, here's the important part. Ready? I just feel like when you open them up, Oh, look at the tongue. Oh, look at him. Christ. Unbelievable. But so oh. here's the thing. Look, I love clams, but these clams, those guys right there, are a little big. Okay? Right, so I, the idea of tell, what? Tell, Max tell, is having. Tell, Max, Max may not make it through this segment. <laughs> tell him he's ruining it. This Max, is awesome. Hey, I'm hearing you gag and I'm hearing Kelly make noises over there. <laughs> it's a good thing she's not mic'd up because that would turn people off. But this, I can eat pretty much anything, but the idea of putting this clam hole in my mouth, it's a little big. And my idea is I want to make something called Clams Casino. And clams, casino clams Casino are kind of an old school thing. There's bacon in it, there's parsley, there's a little Parmesan, there's breadcrumbs, and there's garlic. Maybe there's white wine. I don't know, I've never made them before. But what you do is you take, all, you take the clam out like this. You free him from the shell, like this, right? Stop calling him him. Her. That's making it gonna... worse. No, it. It's It's not an it. It's when an you actual... call it him or her, that makes it worse. But it's a living organism. So here's what you do. You take the clam, pull the clam out. You put the cl you free him from the shell. Free the, the clam from the shell. Then you put this little beautiful coating of breadcrumb with garlic and parsley on top of this guy. A little bit of cheese. Bacon on top. Then you throw them into the broiler. Nice. Lovely thing to do. When you've got little cherry stone clams or the little baby ones, the idea of taking this giant bivalve, all <laughs> gooey and everything, getting them in my mouth, no, it's not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop them up. I'm going to chop them up, mix them with all the good stuff, put it back on top, then throw it under the broiler for a second that I forgot to turn on. Sorry. Oh, Nobody move. Max broil. Start. There we go. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Okay, so watch. Here's what we've done now. I now got to free all these guys. <laughs> hey, leave one hole for me. Can you do that? Dude, there's four here that I'm not touching. <laughs> that Lynn, Lynn wants to just... Look at this. So is the tongue going to be separated from everything else, or is that going to be part of it no, all? No, tongue's part of it, man. Oh, lordy. In the, in the Sam Livecast world... The tongue is part of everything that's going on in here. It's completely edible. I know there's people out there right now that are acting like you guys, that are disgusted by this whole It's not, by this whole it's not mess. difficult to see why it's not the most appetizing know, thing in the world. It's food. Have you seen raw chicken before? That thing looks nasty too. No, well, raw chicken does not look anything like this. <laughs> I hate to say it. I don't know. I don't think raw chicken is very like good. Max is just really... <laughs> Did you see that? He's like this. He's like, what is actually going on in that thing? <laughs> okay, one more. Oh, at least we have this. Uh, am I correct in assuming there is no uh, clams eating by you, Max? Yeah, not really. Are you going to have a bite? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, okay. Wash my hand. Hold on. 
Hold on. Okay. I'll have a bite of mom has a bite. <laughs> okay, bacon's ready, okay? So now bacon's gonna come out. Bacon's gonna come out. We'll drain it a little bit. Oh man, that's a shame, dude. What's a shame? They're not gonna have any. Oh, uh, we don't know that yet. Okay. Let them get it. Let me get it finished first. And then see how they act. Right. See how they look. All right. And then right. we'll, we'll see. I know I'm eating one. I know I ate one today and it didn't have bacon. It had, there's hardly anything to it. And it was really good. Who made that one? I made that one. Right down there at Catalina oh. Offshore. Oh, nice. He's got like a little kitchen there. I mean, it's the place, like seafood place that wholesales, but they also, um, they do retail. And the beautiful thing about it is you can go in there and if you don't really know what to do with something, there's either a chef in there or Tommy, who's like in charge of the place, he'll, he'll go like this. Come here, let me show you how to cook this little piece of fish. Oh, that's Where nice. Where can you do that? Catalina Offshore Products, right here in San Diego off of uh, Lovelock Street. Okay, a little bit too much in there. Ugh, where is all my stuff? All I'm trying to find is this, a little red pepper. And a little bit too much grease right there that I don't want. Where's my towel? Isn't it bad to pour bacon grease down the... Yeah, you're not supposed to. <laughs> Why'd you have to do that? <laughs> now I, now I feel bad. Well, what's, what's supposed to happen? Uh, well, what happens is that it can clog. Okay. There was a city uh, outside of London that had been doing that for years, uh -huh. putting grease down the thing. You know how the Brits, they, all they have is greasy food. Yeah. And suddenly all of their like plumbing systems completely backed up. Oh, gosh. And when the plumbers came to see what was wrong, it was years and years of grease down the drains in people's houses that had clogged this <laughs> thing. Wow. And now they were all screwed. Now everything had to be replaced and... Okay, so a little red pepper in this for color. Would you just lose a light? Mom, just turn, Mom, yeah. whatever light you just turned off, turned off in here. Just flip the switch back. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so this, uh, I need a little onion too, sorry. I could have had all these things done, but we're pretty close. We're pretty close. And I've got some open onion. Two types. I have a little of that. Nice. Nice what? Oh, what, look at already be prepared, man. I'm already. <laughs> How great is that? Like you planned for it. Well, it's like I planned for something. I wasn't really thinking about this, but okay. So now here. Okay. So now we've got onion. We've got the red pepper in there. The clams have to be chopped. That has to be dealt with. I'm getting myself a little bit of a mess right here. But that's why the counter's big and we can just shove everything down and not have to worry about it. You feel me? Feel ya. Okay. So that's good. Little parsley. We're almost there. Please, please, little parsley. Please. It's not, I'm not asking for a lot. I think we were gonna use, oh, you have it? Yeah. We had to use, I think, cilantro the other day for something that called for parsley. That's right. exactly right. Okay, let me just get this ready. It's very quiet in here. It is very quiet, isn't it? I think we're all in awe of the size of the clan. So Kelly was in uh, London a couple weeks ago, for a week visiting a niece. She was there with her sister, niece and, and her niece's baby, our niece's baby. She had in and out. Oh, sorry, she had Shake Shack for her first time. Wait, in London? In London. What? Yep. You want to know what she thought of it? Did not like it. At all? Said it was way too salty. I go, salty. Wait. So, there she is. Look it. But wait, can you really count on That's, London Shake no, Shack being the exact say, same standard as well, you American? Can, you should be able to count on McDonald's being the same everywhere. But I said, I think the Brits can't cook. That's the problem. <laughs> I mean, is the well, beef sourced in the exact same spot? That's a good, that's a we question just lost that I can all Brit viewers. Thank you. Because the beef was partially what makes the difference. Well, 
Yeah, but how can you open up? See what I'm doing here now? This is my idea. My idea is to do this because I feel that putting these giant things in your mouth is not going to make anybody happy. And you had to leave the tongues. The tongue is an important part of all this. Totally. If I called it something else, if I said it was the zoodle, you would be okay with it. It's, it's, just, the fact, it's just the fact that it had a, no, uh, I wouldn't a, color. a name that represents something else that is close to you and you understand. Okay, clams, ready to go. Okay, so now check this out. Here we go. That piece of onion is going to be too big. It's going to make me unhappy. Okay, we're almost there. So we got this. Uh, I need some garlic. Here we go. A couple of big cloves of garlic. I want this to be fairly, fairly garlicky. Two big cloves. Oops. Protected by the paper, no problem. Back up for a sec, Maxie. No. Yep. Our trusty Xylus. I trust you, Silas. And if now, here it's happening. I feel like I got a race. I don't know why. Okay, I want some butter in here now. Help the garlic along. A little oil. Keep the butter from burning. Smelling good. Smelling great. Okay, now they're getting the clams. Clams are going in. You know mm. the onion mixture? Say what? The onion pepper mixture? Yeah. Kind of looks like your clam mixture right Doesn't there. it? Yeah. I just realized it was, it was going in. It's the exact same color. And you know, see, that what worries me is that there's been too much conversation about how this is not any good, that I'm worrying about people at home now <laughs> not wanting to make this. I'm going to put this in at the last minute. Hold on. No, there hasn't been any talk about it not being good. Just no, you guys are it. all gross and everybody out. Well, just about it looking a little bit weird. Okay, so this is good. Back up, hold on. I just got to get some uh, panko bread totally from here. Pot. Stealing bacon. Uh, don't, hey, don't take the bacon. Bread crumbs. Bread crumbs, panko. So look at you can eat these things raw. You don't have to overcook. And they're all chopped up in these little pieces, so it's not going to take a lot. A little bit of panko, just for body. We're kind of mimicking Clams Casino, kind of. Bacon. Nice. I don't know how this can't be good. It'd be awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Parsley. And I like parsley. And now we haven't seasoned this with anything. All we have is garlic in here. So salt and pepper right here. I mean, honestly, that could be tofu in there and we would still be macking it on it later. It looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. Okay, that's ready. Okay. Now here's all I need. I need a couple of shells that are, that are fairly clean and a baking sheet. And we're right there. Gonna work? Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? I love the shells, man. They're pretty. They're gorgeous. So can you get these anywhere? Or no, like you can't. Specialty? And now here's the thing: it's specialty now. Now, sorry, Catalina Offshore Products now has the proper licenses to bring these into the to the state. Whoa. Because for a while you. you you're not allowed. I don't know why it took paperwork to make this happen, but this is what they had to do. Is it probably, I'm gonna guess, is because it's not farmed correctly, or like the way that you. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think that that would be right. They're really conscientious about about uh, where and how their stuff is handled. Interesting. Okay, so I'm almost done. Okay, just these little. These little guys out. Okay. U D E L. Ready? Ready. I'll come to you, Max. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna need a break just to just to make this stuff 
just to clean up in here a little bit. Wow. That looks great, man. Oh, it smells fantastic, man. There we go. Okay, here, watch. Just a tiny little bit of Parmesan that I have right here. Yeah, this is, we'll call this a chopped clams casino. Chocolate, chopped chocolate clam casino. Nice. Is that what we're talking, is that what we're gonna call this? The four C's. Damn good presentation, I'm not it gonna is, lie. It is, isn't it? Okay, here's all that happens now. It's going under the broiler. Right here. And look at where it is. You're gonna, Max, you're gonna be able to see. This is about as high as it can go. I'm not trying to cook, I only want to brown a little bit. So if it was down low, it's gonna get heat all the way around it. I don't want that. I just want the top down heat. It's gonna take maybe a minute, minute and a half. Okay. We take a break. I clean up this terrible mess a little bit. Wait, before you do, do a live yeah. read for Perch right now. Oh, Perch, please. Please, I had my first brunch class there a week or so ago. It's so fun. So many people came to the class. Uh, here in San Diego had never been to Perch before and they were like, this place is amazing. I go, I talk about it all the time. I'm not making stuff up. Uh, Theperch.com, they're here in San Diego at University Town Center. They're in Costa Mesa, they're in um, Glendale up in Los Angeles, they're in Rancho Mirage. They just opened up in Chicago and Houston and Atlanta are not far behind. You've never been in a store that had products shown, displayed, like this, the attitude that the people have, they're there for you. Perch.com, check them out on Facebook. I love them, you'll love them too. Don't go away, when we come back, the chocolate clams, the chopped chocolate clams casino, come out of the, uh, this, whatever it's called, and we're gonna eat them in. They're gonna be damn delicious. See you in a second. The days of expensive, time-consuming website creation people are over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that is? That's a Squarespace. That's where you need to go, squarespace.com. They will make your website not just beautiful, but in a ridiculously financially affordable way. Does that even make sense, financially affordable? I think it does. Check them out, squarespace.com. You don't believe me? They're doing my website. Where do you see it? We blow your mind. Blow your mind. And this is cool. If you put my name, Sam, in the promo box at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. You gotta like that. And there they are, look at them. Oh, wow. Wow. Looking good, man. Pretty, didn't take very long. Okay, here's how I wanna do this. Wow, it's gonna be hot. Look what I've done. How can I come to you? What is that, a little salt? Yeah, well, here's the deal. They've got round bottoms. So as soon as, you, as soon as you put them down, what are they going to do? They're going to wobble. Ah, what a cool shite. idea. Shite. That sounds hot, man. It is hotter than craziness. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Tongs. Wow. Nice, dude. Right? How's that? Come on, come on, somebody, 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 come on. Wow, Just come give on. Just give me a, give me a little, give me a little love here. I will even give you love. It looks unreal, and it smells amazing too. Okay, now I got to eat one. And special. you guys know, I mean me. I'm. This isn't my number one thing. It's not your number two or three thing, I would guess. <laughs> Hold on, I have this beautiful little spoon. Look how beautiful that is, though. I got this beautiful little spoon that I brought back from, uh, that Kelly got in South Wait, Africa. Can we just go, I, I've never seen a clam dish this pretty. Ever? Like, I would be super tempted to eat that. I'm looking forward to Mac super to tempted. Lynn's uh, photograph of this. Okay, they're really hot, so I gotta get one in my hand. Here you go, I want this guy. So here's the deal, right? Just a tiny little bit of cheese on top, bacon, garlic, onion, red pepper,
Oh. Oh my God, you're just clammy goodness. Can you have a bite? On camera. No, he can't. Can you have a bite don't on make camera? Me. No, don't make me. Okay, I don't care. I love you. I always will. I always do, but. Oh my God. Now, you know what I just realized? They do white wine in Clams Casino, I think. That I could have done with a little vermouth. But I don't care because you're so damn good. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. Despite what all the groaning and the moaning was about when I was getting these guys out of their shell, you got to make this. And I think I made the right call by cutting up the clams. Because down in a big boy, one of these little gooey things might have been too much for a lot of people. Certainly for most of the people here, not Lynn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, it's been a good week. It's been a fun week. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends and... Make sure to come back uh, Monday. Promise? Promise? Okay, good. See you then. Have a good weekend.